Hello everyone and welcome to Contemporary Issues um, in Teaching Reading Class EDUC 521. Um, this is Dr. Abdullawi and I'll be your um, professor this semester. I'm very much looking forward to our class uh, this semester and um, wanted to start off with some discussion on the Blackboard design and um, our syllabus, our course syllabus for um, uh, this class. So let me begin with Blackboard. Um, as you can see here, this is the page that you will see and um, these are the tabs that we'll be using uh, for our course navigation on Blackboard. Uh, you can go to faculty information if you want to learn more about me. Um, this is my introduction introduction um, to you guys and then announcements any announcements that I will be sending to you will be here on this wall and I always also um, send that directly to your email uh, just in case if you don't open your uh, blackboard frequently at least you'll get them um, uh, via email um, the third tab here is your syllabus and you can just click on it and it will um, upload your course syllabus right here and I have it um, in front of us right here. That's my office location and room number. If you need any question, you can come and visit me on these um, office hours. Um, they're Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 to 3 available on, the, uh, on, on this time slot. And then if you want to meet up before class on Thursdays, you can have an appointment and I'll make sure to be available for you before class. Um, we are not going to have a textbook for um, this class. However, we're going to do a lot of selected readings. So I'll be selecting readings for you, um, as you can see in the, in the syllabus, with hot links that you can click on and read your articles. And then also you're going to experience picking articles yourselves. And I'm going to show you how we'll do this um uh, using your um, your library uh, we'll discuss this on Thursday to see how familiar are you because I know that you're at the end of your uh, program so you should be familiar with how to pick articles from the from the hood library however I am going to go over this with you on Thursday and discuss with you uh, whether you are familiar with this or not so that's on the face-to-face. -face. Now, please make sure that you read the vision and mission of our school and the course objectives just to get an idea of what to expect to learn after um, finishing this coursework. Um, so please go ahead and read that at your con earliest convenience. Uh, these are the standards that we follow. Um, in, in designing this course and it will be part of your performance-based assessment uh, assignment at the very end of the semester. And this is the list of your assignments right here in this um, chart table. Um, you are required to attend and participate in all um, sessions and classes. We Our sessions are going to be hybrid and face-to-face, -face, um, online, sorry, and face-to-face, -face, which makes it a hybrid course. Now, the face-to-face -face classes are going to be on Thursdays from 5 to 7.30, and our online uh, classes will start on a Thursday and will end on a Wednesday. Um, so it's not really um, a, um, a synchronous class, it's asynchronous, asynchronous, um, which means that you don't have to be live in session working on something while everyone is doing it at the same time. So you have the leisure of time to plan your time according to what fits your schedule, but then you'll have to submit everything by the Wednesday of that um, 
of that week. So, and you'll see the schedule planned this way. So we're always working from a Thursday and ending on a Wednesday. You'll always see this in your schedule dates and that's your window. Unless we are either meeting face to face, then you'll have to come on that day. And then if there is anything that you needed to finish, um, you have this window of the week to finish, but let me know uh, if you couldn't submit it on the day of, um, on a Thursday, if, if there is something uh, to be submitted on a Thursday. Um, and then if we have a live ses session uh, through Zoom application, and this is another thing that we're going to discuss in our first face-to-face uh, -face class, uh, what is a Zoom app, and please bring your um, either iPad or uh, your iPhone um, or Android is fine as well. We're going to uh, experience together having the app. It's a free application and you can download it and then have live sessions together. So we'll experience this together when we meet up um, the first time we meet on the this week. Um, so these are your, your assignments. So attendance is essential and participation either through Blackboard or through our face-to-face -face and live sessions. Then we're going to have uh, two articles review. Uh, the two articles review are um, um, of your choice. You're going to pick uh, two articles. Uh, that you're going to review um, of your topic of interest and then um, and, and I'm going to have an assignment tab on Blackboard here you're going to see assignments and you're going to see the um, each assignment where you upload your assignment and the rubric of this assignment and the instruction of the assignment as well. So everything will be on uh, related to assignments will be under this tab. Um, then you are, let's go back, you are going to have discussion groups and the sign up for the discussion groups, <coughs> excuse me, um, is right here group signups it's automatic you can um, manually uh, sign yourself into a group and the groups only take three and one group of um, two I believe so you are going to sign up in the available spots if you found a group filled up already it's never gonna allow you to sign up so you'll have to find a group that has available spots to to sign up yourself the the faster you get to this, the faster you get to pick the date that you prefer. In the discussion groups, you're going to pick, um, again, from one of the topics. And, and uh, what I'm saying here, when I said the two articles review and the discussion group, when I said uh, topics of our choices, uh, we really have to think of, well, actually the articles review, I'm sorry, I apologize for this mistake. I am going to pick the articles for you, and I'm going to have these um, on Blackboard under the weeks that they need to be um, uh, reviewed. So here under course content, you'll find it divided by week. I did not develop the folders yet, but you're going to see week one, week two, week three, based on our um, weeks here week one week two week three so you'll you'll go there and you'll find the weeks divided and then on the week of uh, where the article review needs to be submitted you'll find the link um, to the uploaded article that you'll need to review um, for the assignment now going back to what I wanted to say is that um, we're going to have a survey uh, blog where you are actually discussing what do you, what you think are some contemporary most important issues in a reading classroom now, and you're going to discuss this under survey blog right here if you see this. 
right here. These are your groups, but this is the survey. If you click on the survey, you'll see the question, share th thoughts on what you think are the most current and contemporary issues happening now in reading classrooms in FCPS. And then you put, you create a blog entry and you just enter um, the, a list of, of issues that you think are happening or you can have a list at, at bulleted points or you can have a very short paragraph telling you what you think is this one contemporary issue. So if you think of one thing, you can write it in a statement. If you think of several things, you can um, put them in, in a list bulleted points. And this way, everyone can see in this blog um, the, what everyone thinks are the, um, the contemporary issues. And then we can, we can reply to each other, actually. But this is our, this is our um, contemporary issues bank, if you may call it. And that's where I will pick the article reviews. That's why I did not add them in the, the course schedule yet because I wanted to see what you're going to come up with as your, your, what you think are the most hot topics in our reading classroom. And then for the discussion groups, that you go to the survey bank as well and pick a topic that you within your group that you guys think is the most important topic and then you'll find an article that matches with this topic and assign it um, to everyone. You can assign it and email us all or you can assign it and um, post it under a discussion board. I'll have a discussion board link uh, that's called um, article group discussion articles and this way you can just post the link uh, to um, to the discussion board of, of the article that you want to assign us all to read uh, before you do the discussion uh, group. Now in the discussion groups you are going to basically hold the discussion. It will be like a flipped classroom where you're going to be responsible of this assigned article and you're going to build a discussion uh, on this. You can be creative, do it however you want, or you can do it as simple as, as if you are um, doing a simple lecture in the classroom, or you can do group discussions, you can do debates, you can do however you want in, on this day uh, to discuss this article that you've assigned. And further details, you find them down here per each assignment. Uh, right here, so the discussion group, you'll you'll see the details, the article reviews, you'll see the de the details, attendance here, you'll see the details. So it's it's very it's very detailed in the explanation, but I'm just taking some time to overview them to just make sure that we're clear um, on them. So attendance, we're done with this, and it's each class. The articles, I'm going to assign them once we are done with the um, with the survey to pick the, the topics. Discussion groups, it varies the, the due date per your sign up uh, per group and that's the group that's going to hold the discussion and the lecture for this day. Um, and then the third assignment is the personal goal statement where you're actually going to tell me based on um, uh, an issue that is dear to your heart that you think let me go to that you think is um, is is related to what you think is m most important and then you're going to um, look at yourself as as, as, and look at this issue as a goal that you're, you want to address and be able to not fix in, in a sense, but want to reach out and achieve this goal by a specific timeline. And you're going to tell me how do you think you can achieve this goal and overcome this issue? And when is the timeline that you think you will be doing it? So if I'm roughly thinking that you are, you probably have so many special needs students in your reading classroom and you're struggling with 
the different method of teaching special needs students and you're always struggling going back and forth between reading uh, methods and special needs um, instruction for example so your goal probably is to educate yourself somehow with uh, special needs methods and maybe the goal of achievement is to either take um, uh, training, professional development or certification, something and you're going to tell me what is when when is your timeline and how do you think you'll see yourself achieving this goal and why did you pick this goal and, and so on. The details are here and I'm going to have a rubric for you with um, further detail under the um, assignment tab right here. Okay, so whenever you have an assignment, you know where you're going to submit it and where you're going to find the instructions and the rubric for it. Then the last one, which is the biggest assignment, is the action research project. Now the action research project has sub um, assignments. One of them is interviews. So you're going to start with collecting interviews and the interviews on, uh, on its own um, has its, its detail right here and you're going to submit it um, separately and you're going to follow these steps um, so read, the, read it carefully. It's very detailed and self-explanatory, but if you still need further assistance, you are going to come and ask me, not a, not a problem. Um, but anyway, so this is your, it, it's like four phases, the research. You start with phase one, which is actually deciding on the topic that you want to, to um, interview participants for and build your research on. The second phase there is where you actually conduct the interviews. The third phase is um, you're going to kind of formulate a skeleton of your research to discuss it with the group in a, in a presentation right here and the presentation you're not going to present it to class you're going to submit it on blackboard either um, on a format of a powerpoint or um, uh, a paper format uh, so you're not actually presenting it but you're presenting your thoughts and ideas uh, to everyone as a skeleton of your research paper and i would love to um to just get a raise of hands when we meet the first time to see how comfortable you are with um, these parts and elements of writing and research. Uh, I know that you took the research class already, but I just wanted to make sure where you are exactly so that I will gear instruction where I'm doing the research review class at the very end uh, to just make sure where you are here, right here, I'm going to do a review of qualitative and quantitative research elements just to make sure that you that you know what you have in your paper, that the, what exactly the elements are and what you need to include. I know you know it, but just to review review them together. Um, so the action research will start with choosing the topic conducting interviews, uh, putting the skeleton together of the research paper, just headlines and what you're going to include type of thing in um, PowerPoint or a paper uh, format and um, submit it so that uh, everyone can see it. You'll have um, two submissions for this one because it's a presentation you want to share it with others. So you're going to regularly submit it under assignments, but then you're going to share it with everyone under discussion board so that you'll get a feedback from um, uh, your colleagues and maybe th this feedback will help you when you're when you start writing your um, your action your your final uh, piece of the action research project, which is the paper. So interviews, presentation, where you're going to get the feedback, and then the actual paper. The actual paper you follow um, what I have here for you, the step by step of 
the action research and because this is your performance assessment you will have to submit it to chalk and wire and not under the regular assignments um, um, submission here so you you when you go to assignments when you go to assignments, you'll find a tab that says Chalk and Wire Action Research Paper, and that's where you click to link you right away to Chalk and Wire. Or if you know how to just go directly to Chalk and Wire and submit your paper, you can do that as well. It's it's connected anyways, and I'm going to open it from, from Chalk and Wire. Um, so you're going to have an introduction, which is the topic of choice. You're going to introduce it to me, a rationale, why you chose this topic, your, your research question where you based everything on, and then a literature review, review piece, and you can, you, you're used to articles or more, um, and you can certainly use uh, one of the articles that we've been reading throughout the semester, because I'm going to be assigning you articles to read. Uh, your colleagues are assigning you articles to read for the discussion groups um, and also we're going to um, have readings um, throughout the, the course schedule so there are many readings right here in the course if any of them match with the topic that you are researching then that's perfect you can use any of these readings if they don't match then you can pick any two articles you want and um, give me a review of this of these two articles in other words connect the articles that you've read to prove specific uh, points in your rationale of the topic uh, that you've picked. Then the last section is the methodology section where you're going to tell me the procedures of how you're, you're conducting the research. Um, the participants that you've interviewed, just tell me about them. Who are your participants? And then how did you collect data, which is through the interviews? And if you did anything else, like group discussions, this is called focus groups. You can say that too. And then because we don't have time to actually um, um, do further, with that, I think your your data collection is fine with just the interviews. But if you had time to have in, individual interviews and then put them together in a group, then here you go. You have two data collection tools. One is the interviews and the other one is focus groups. But if you have only the interviews, then that's completely fine. And then you're going to tell me what limitations um, do you think is in this research project? Um, uh, any kind of limitations? Um, maybe there was specific timing that was uh, not the right time that probably felt affected the, the discussions or the data collection or anything else. I'm just giving you an example of a limitation. At the end is your findings and discussions. What do you think after conducting the interviews and discussing your topic and, and all of that? What is your, what do you think are the findings? What do you think where the problem is, where people think the problem is? What are the things that you think you want to do in order to um, uh, raise awareness, for example? So this kind of thing should be in your final wrap-up discussion of the topic and findings of um, from your experience going through the interviews of the topic. So um, that's so that's the the paper. These are the assignments. So again. Um, participation to articles reviews that I'm going to assign for you and I'm going to have them under the, the week of uh, when it's when it's um, when it should be submitted discussion groups you're signing up for your discussion groups you're picking an article together based on the bank that we have and you're going to um, be responsible of this uh, class session personal goals what are your personal goals um, targeting specific problem related um, and then the action research project which is divided into three things the interviews the um, paper presentation which is basically 
what you're going to do as a skeleton of your paper. So if you want to actually break it down to these sub um, elements here in your research paper and tell me what you or tell us because you're you're showing us all what you're going to include under each one of these in slides PowerPoint or in uh, paper format it is completely up to you you basically want it's it's a it's a very drafty draft to just tell us what you are going to do and basically what you want is our feedback to you so that's your presentation and then the paper uh, itself uh, submitted to chalk and wire Please follow APA uh, style. Um, if you are not sure where that is, I'm going to um, provide a link of Purdue Owl for the APA format link uh, on Blackboard under course content. You'll find a link standing alone at the very end called APA formatting, and that's where you can look and click and, and um, look at the link there with all the APA formatting tips. Okay, and then here are some of the rules and procedures of our class. Please make sure that you go through them. Then this is our course schedule. So if you see here, it's it's a it's a one week duration so we start here but then everything should be submitted by the end of the week we started um we started on the 30th for example and then you um you have to submit um your work at at the end of that day which is the fifth for example or from the thursday to the wednesday um, as i explained to you um, so you will be, for this week, we still have until the end of the week, we did not finish the week yet, you will have to finish your introductions on Blackboard, you will have to sign up for your group and then answer the survey question, which is right here on the left uh, side, survey blog, you click on it, again, these are the group sign up groups. Um, I don't know why do they keep it under blog, but then you all you also can um, access sign up groups under group sign up right here. Okay, so anyways, you go to survey blog and you go to survey. You click on it, and then you read the question and create an entry, and then we continue discussing what um, the contemporary issues are. Uh, next week we have a face-to-face -face session. We're going to discuss anything that you still have a question um, on and then we'll do the Zoom directions for you guys and then um, if you can share uh, the articles by this week. doesn't have to be on that face-to-face -face session but during this week until the, the 12th until um, uh, September 12, you have this week to uh, assign uh, um, the articles. You can post them under um, your groups, or you, I'm going to, and or you you can submit it under discussion boards. I'm going to have a link for us, um, which is going to be called discussion groups articles and uh, you're going to just one representative of the group can just um, post the link to the article and if it's something that needs to be uploaded you can upload a file on discussion board as well okay so these are the readings for next week and this will be our discussion um, next week then here on, on this week, we're really going to stop and think and reflect on um, this article uh, review. You're going to read it and then you're going to write your article uh, review. Um, the next class is our first group one discussion and that's why it's essential that we submitted by next week so that people will have time to 
read your article for group one and um, get ready with it. And also, um, during this week until the 26th, you are working, so it doesn't matter if we're meeting on Thursday the 20th, you have until the 26th to submit a draft of the interview questions. Um, you're going to submit this uh, on Blackboard to collect feedback from us. Uh, just, the, just the questions that you're going to ask to your participants. We create questions and we want the feedback on what others think about these questions. So I'm just giving you this opportunity to share um, your questions before you go ahead and venture into interviewing. You're, we're going to have a, um, this under discussion board as well, um, a link that says draft for interview questions, and you're going to submit that under discussion board. All of this is still in the process of building it, so um, by the time we get there, it will be built already, so no worries about this. Um, online session where you're going to read this and uh, reflect uh, following um, the questions that you're going to find on Blackboard discussion, discussion board. And then you will have to work on your personal goal statement, which is due. And you'll find when, when you see this yellow highlight, this means that th there's something due on this day. And when you hear any kind of yellow uh, highlight, is, it's something due. If it's red, then it means it's a face-to-face. -face. And if it's purple, then it's kind of a medium between an online and a face-to-face, -face, face, which is a live um, session, which is the purple highlight. So I kind of color-coded for us just to make sure that we are um, aware of the importance of something that's coming up. Um, we're having off this week for the fall semester break, um, another discussion group here on a face-to-face. -face. Basically, our face-to-face -face classes will be the flipped classrooms. Um, Stop and think, which is you're only doing the article review on this week. Um, another face-to-face, -face, and then Zoom Live. And I remember one of your colleagues emailed me saying something about one of the Zoom Live sessions uh, where you're going to have um, parent conferences or something. Uh, we can discuss how we're going to fix this issue when we meet next time, either by um, deciding on a time that everyone will be available by that time, or we're going to change the day um, altogether. So we'll see how we can do this, and we'll discuss it together and see uh, what's the best option that we can do. Here is another yellow, which means it's due on that week, the, on the 14th, and that's when you actually finish your interviews and um, follow the, the guidelines for the interviews section paper, which is um, above in, in the directions above. This is an online session where you participate, and participation online has two points uh, through discussion board. Thanksgiving break, and followed by a face-to-face -face discussion group and presentation paper of the of the research project is due here, um, not necessarily on the face-to-face -face session, but on the uh, by the end of the um, the week of of the session week. A live session here, um, which we'll be discussing and reviewing action research elements, what to write under each one of them, basically. And then the last class, uh, your final, um, will be submitted to Chalk and Wire. You can submit it anytime once you finish with your paper. And because we're we're really doing it step by step, you finish the interviews, you kind of did the goal statement, and it will be smart of you to do the goal statement based on the, the, the issue that you 
you want to pick for your action research this way you can have this as part of your introduction um, and, and purpose or rationale of, of choosing this topic so this way you'll have introduction the the, the rationale you can add it there uh, of course you don't you, you can't copy and paste but then you can just change in the wordings a little bit but you have the ideas that's what I'm saying then you have the literature review from the readings that we've done um, you are you have the methodology you did the interview section and um, you're going to just do the um, the limitations and um, your final findings and discussion at the very end to reflect on and think where the problem is and where you think um, your participants thought uh, best ways to um, to address this issue and what you think are your plans to address this issues if you would uh, discuss it with administration or with anybody who has the um, who's a stakeholder in, in this um, topic or this issue all right so I think we came to an end to discuss the syllabus and the schedule in details and please bring any questions specific questions when we meet next time. Um, this is our Blackboard page and here are the tabs. This is still under construction and this is also still under construction. Um, I have some of your introductions here and then you'll see all of the rest of the, the assigned tabs and then um, uh, a week by week you'll see a new tab where you're going to do your reflections on the um, reading that we're going to do so some of them will be already established because it's submission tabs basically and some other tabs will be weekly established and published based on the readings and the ref kind of reflection that I want you to do um, on that week um, sign up Assignments under construction. I'm going to add all of the assignments here. We're going to upload all of your assignments right here uh, except for the final paper that needs to be submitted on Chalk and Wire, the blog, and here the virtual. You can't see it, it's not, um, you can't view it in your tabs. But I'm still thinking and debating and see if Zoom did not work out. We'll see if the virtual class here will work better for us. But so I'm keeping it on hold because I really like Zoom better. It, it has more options and better options. But um, if it didn't work out for us uh, when we meet for any reason, we'll have a plan B as this virtual classroom. Um, emails if you need to email me or any of your colleagues you'll find a list here any tools you can click here and there are plenty of tools that you can use um, not sure if you're going to need them um, for your personal use uh, a link to the library you can click on library here um, the link here and then it will take you to our um, um, can search library and uh, you can just search whatever topic you would like to to research you can go to articles and more to to research articles books and media journals but mostly for this class, you're going to need uh, the articles and more. You can write here, um, education, and then go. Uh, the best links for articles is Academic Search Complete. I highly recommend it, so go here, and um, you're going to put your barcode number, submit, and then search um, whatever you will need to research. If you are on campus, you probably will not need to 
put the barcode, but if you're outside of the campus, you will have to put your barcode, submit, and then research whatever topic you will need. Okay, and then that's, of course, evaluation. So, so that's that. Um, very much looking forward to our meeting um, in our first face-to-face -face meeting, and we're going to discuss um, our first topic here on the theories and foundation, and also discuss um, the syllabus, the Zoom uh, live discussion, and um, if you have any questions, I'll address it here, and then we'll go uh, further with our content discussion for the first week. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and looking forward to a great semester. Thank you.